Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Higurashi When They Cry, episode 14. So this episode was actually very interesting because it actually briefly had a different main character. Now, I don't know if this is going to be constant or if... Like, if this character is going to be the main character for the series or if they're going to keep switching it up or if... Or if, uh, Ikus, or, I can't believe I don't remember the main character's name. Or if he's, or if the other one's gonna come back next, next arc. But, either way, though, uh, this arc, I believe, is only gonna be two episodes long, and it, it basically is going into the past to show exactly what, some of the things that went on during the whole damn protest thing, okay, before before the other main character actually came back to his hometown again. And it follows a, an investigator named Mamoru Akasaka, who came from the Tokyo uh, invet Police Department. He's basically a newbie, and he's actually involved with uh, Oishi a little bit here, the, the, the detective now. Oishi seems to be, seems to, for the most part, have his personality from the first arc. He doesn't, but... I guess that would kind of make sense if, since this goes into the past, you know, um, and whatnot. So, yeah, it kind of shows exactly what's going on with the damn protest, uh, with this new main character, okay? And it shows the, uh, the, uh, three families, most notably the Sonozaki family, and they're the, at the head of the protesting the three families are okay and it also shows Rika in this episode Rika seems really cute at first but then you know that she's hiding something um well you kind of knew that originally anyways but the but later on in the episode the way she speaks to uh, Mamoru is really like ominous it really is it really creeps him out uh, although I'm I, although after she snaps out of it I'm pretty sure he just thinks that it was just a fluke or something he doesn't really think that she's like that, but yeah, I have a suspicion that he's probably going to die. I mean, in the previous three arcs, the main character we had for that died each time. So it's like, I'm pretty sure he's going to die at the end of this. Which kind of sucks for him because he, back in Tokyo, he has a wife waiting who's in labor. So, yeah. <laughs> but either way, though, I enjoyed this episode. It was a nice change of pace from always being in the present day. Um, it's filling in a little, little bit more of the gaps from the past with the dam construction and whatnot, which I like. Now, there wasn't a whole lot of, uh, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of, like, dark moments in this episode except for a kidnapping that took place in protest of the dam, um, which the Sonozakis are going to or at least the current head of the Sonozaki is going to let go because she believes that's justice, basically. She believes that the construction of the dam is destroying the village and she treats the village like her own mother, so she believes that it's killing her mother, essentially. Um, and then, there, of course, there's also that one scene where Rika's personality completely shifts. Okay. But other than that, it's not really too dark, but there's not really a whole lot of comedic scenes either. They, they are, they do have them here and there, but not a huge amount of them. Mainly because it's, this is only going to be a two-episode arc, really, so they have to really speed things along here. Uh, but I, th I thought it was a very enjoyable episode. It, I didn't think it was as good as some of the previous episodes, because they got really fucking dark, especially last episode. But I still thought it was a enjoyable in its own in its own right. I think it's really interesting what they're doing here and I can't wait for the next episode. Okay. Um so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Again, the only things I really have to compl complain about are the art and animation and once again the music um when there they do have a few comedic scenes in this episode. The music is not that great during those scenes. But other than that, fantastic not fantastic but Pretty good episode. I do recommend it. Okay. So, yeah. But, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.